26-year-old no James M. Kelly is now charged with five felonies, accused of shooting and killing two people and injuring three others near the Gorge Amphitheater last weekend. Two counts of murder in the first degree, three counts of assault in the first degree. We will have a no contact order. Kelly appeared in court today. Court documents reveal Kelly and his girlfriend were at the Gorge for the Beyond Wonderland Music Festival. And while there, the suspect took some mushrooms and started hallucinating. Kelly telling investigators he had had a bad trip before with the same batch of mushrooms. At this point, the mushroom trip made Kelly believe the world was ending and that he needed to return to his camp immediately with his girlfriend, saying several times, quote, this is the end. Once back at his truck, he retrieved a handgun from a lockbox stored in the center console, loaded a magazine into the handgun, chambered a cartridge, and stepped out from behind the driver's door. Court documents show the two victims killed, Brandy Escamilla and Jocelyn Ruiz, were walking in the path of the suspect who fired multiple shots, killing them. They did not know the suspect. That's the lawyer for the family of Jocelyn. He confirms she and Brandy were engaged, and Jocelyn's family is heartbroken they've lost their daughter, and her fiance. We trained for this in the hopes that it never happens. Grant County Sheriff Joe Crete spoke to reporters after Kelly's court appearance today, saying he hopes everyone can heal from this traumatic, tragic situation. Our heart is always out with the victims and the, of, of the families and the horrible situations like this it is, but you know, my thoughts are also with my, my employees and my staff and, and getting them to a position to where where they, they feel that they are able to move forward from a horrible situation like this. The court documents go on to detail how Kelly ended up shooting his girlfriend, another man at the campsite, and a woman working security. All of them survived, the girlfriend and the man with serious injuries. Back to you. Within the past 90 minutes, we have confirmed the two women shot and killed were traveling nurses at Swedish. In a memo, memo sent to staff today, the hospital system said in part, quote, nurses are the backbone of our health care industry, and both Brandy and Jocelyn embodied excellence and compassion in patient care. It went on to say that their hearts go out to the victims' families during this difficult time.